Welcome back to GLB Productions. My name is Bruno Luce. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to look at this product from Small Rig, and the name of the product is the Small Rig Quarter Inch 20 to 3 8 16 Screw Adapter Pack. Now, Small Rig is a company, I believe they're Japanese, who make camera rig accessories. Uh, which are designed by filmmakers around the world and they make things like camera cages, top plates and, and handles and their website is smallrig.com if you'd like to check them out. There's a little bit of a story behind uh, why I got this. Um, I'll show you the accessories first and then I'll tell you the story. So as you can see when you order them and I just ordered them from Amazon.com. They come in a simple Ziploc bag and there's two of them. They seem to be quite high quality and they're made from brass. One of them is a 3 8 male thread, which is this one. It's a 3 8 male thread to a quarter inch female on the bottom. And the other one is a quarter inch male thread to a 3 8 inch female. Now, if you're not sure what these terms mean, sound reinforcement uses two thread sizes for things like microphone stands and clips. They use a 3 8 inch thread, which is this one, and a larger 5 8 which is the one more commonly seen on American mic stands. The European stands tend to be the smaller size. Photography, on the other hand, uses this quarter inch 20 thread. And what that means is, is that in general, microphone stands and camera tripods are not interchangeable because of the thread sizes. So the story behind this is that I do some teaching at a local polytechnic and I often video my students doing presentations so that we can sit down and analyze the footage, look at their body language, look at their articulation and so on. And of course, being a sound engineer, I need to get good audio because otherwise you can't hear what they're saying. So for many years, I used uh, one of these microphones to record my students doing their presentations. As you can see, uh, this mic is from a company called Roa and it was relatively inexpensive. It was about 110 Singapore dollars. And what it is, is a, a very simple stereo shotgun microphone. You can see there the interference tube. And it has two settings, a 90 degree and a 120 degree setting. And what I do is I just stick this at the front of the lecture theater or classroom where they're presenting and I connect it with a extension cable to my video camera. It's very simple. It ensures that the audio is always well captured and there's no need to sync the audio in post-production. This particular microphone, as you can see, it comes with a cold shoe mount there. And in the bottom of the cold shoe mount, there is one of these quarter inch 20 threads. And that was ideal because what I would do is I would combine it with this compact uh, Manfrotto tripod. And as you can see there, I'd screw the two together. and I'd have a very simple, compact um, microphone rig there. And the good thing about this is that because the microphone itself is designed for on-camera mounting, there's no elevation adjustment on the microphone, unlike on a normal microphone clip where the up and down is built in. So this the stand itself gives me that all important up and down uh, adjustment because if you don't point the microphone up and it's sitting on a table, 
you end up uh, losing a lot of high frequencies because the mic is not pointed at the uh, speaker's mouth. Then, after a while, I thought, like all of us, time for an upgrade. So I went and I purchased a Rode a Video Mic Pro. This, of course, will be familiar to most of you uh, who are into videography. And this is a mono shotgun. The quality on this microphone is quite a bit better than the Roa and it comes with its own included shock mount. Surprise, surprise, the cold shoe on this mic is a 3 8 inch thread. And the reason for that is that it's designed to be mountable on microphone stands. So of course, I couldn't use my little tripod. Now, a while back, you probably recall that I did a review on a small a k &M microphone stand, um, this one here. Now I had hoped to use this microphone stand in lieu of the Manfrotto and combine it with the Rode VideoMic Pro. And of course, they interface just fine given that this has a 3 8 inch male thread. And Everything seemed fine. The mic would stand up very nicely, no issues there. The problem, of course, was that because there is no elevation adjustment, I wasn't getting a good sound. I was recording basically people's belt buckles, and as you know, their voice does not come out of their belt buckle, it comes out of their mouth. So I needed a solution. The solution, of course, was this adapter kit. So. What the adapter kit allows me to do is if I go back to my original setup here and I move the road for a moment, I take off the old rower and I connect the one that goes from quarter inch 20 to 3 eighths. You can see it just screws right on there. And then this allows me to put the Rode Video Mic Pro onto this camera tripod, like so. And although it does add a little bit of height, that's not really a problem because the microphone is sitting on a table and now I have the all-important height adjustability and just all-around usefulness that the camera tripod offers. So I'm now a very happy camper, as is my Rode VideoMic Pro. So the great advantage of having these in your kit is that, first of all, it allows you to mount any microphone on any camera, tripod, or monopod. Now, most of the time, being sound engineers, we have microphone stands, but there is always that one time where you're short or you forgot to bring that tall stand or for some reason, you just ran out of stands because you didn't plan correctly. So in that case, you can use one of these to come to the rescue. The other thing that they allow you to do is they allow you to use a camera monopod as a boom pole. Now, boom poles, also known as fish poles, are usually the domain of news crews and people who do electronic news gathering and field production. But with one of these, you can actually use a camera monopod and transform it into a makeshift boom pole. And there are many videos on YouTube that show you how to do this. The other thing that you can do, if you wanted to, using the other adapter, is it would allow you to put any camera on a microphone stand. Now, once again, if you do this, you would lose the up-down adjustment that is built into the camera tripod, but once again, it may not be necessary. So, depending on your needs, I would think this is a very useful uh, pair of little 
adapters to have in your kit. This is Bruno Luz for GLB Productions. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.